everybody. It's a pleasure to be here this morning. Uh, my name is Jonathan Sow, and I'm the former Toronto City Councillor for Ward 33, right here in the beautiful riding of Don Valley North. And we're gathered this morning for a very exciting announcement, and we're gathered with so many leaders from our community here in the Chinese community and from across the community here in Toronto and Ontario. And it's such a proud moment for me to be here today. Um, let me just quickly introduce uh, some of our dignitaries with us today. We have with us Michael Chan, former MPP for Markham Newnerville. Mr. Reza Moridi, former MPP Richmond Hill. We have Mr. Jerry Phillips, former MPP for Scarborough Agent Corp. Ms. Sharifa Khan, and of course, Mr. Wei. So let us begin now. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce the man that we've all come here today to hear from about his big announcement. We're very excited about Mr. Han Dong. Uh, well, I, I think uh, you prefer me to speak in English or Chinese. No preference? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, 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 okay. First English. First English. Well, I, first, I want, I want to thank all my friends and supporters for coming today. You know, the, the people who stand behind me, many I actually work with or work for in the past, uh, but people that I look up to and get advice from from time to time. And truly, uh, their mentors like Jerry and, and Michael and Reza and good friends like Mr. Wei and Sharifa, um, I go to them for advice whenever um, I, uh, I'm unsure about uh, things. So, very happy that I feel very well supported um, uh, surrounding by, surrounded by friends. So, and I want to thank all the media uh, friends for, for being here today. Uh, this is an important day um, for me and for my family. Um, I, we know that um, uh, in, the, in, the, in the past uh, few days, you know, it is a matter of days, uh, there were, um, there were uh, you know, things that happened that, you know, actually that there's, uh, uh, they're not going to be a liberal, federal liberal candidate uh, in this riding. So there will be a nomination process happening very, very soon. And uh, some of the friends I haven't seen in a while and probably wonder what I've been doing the last uh, year or so. Um, last year, late last year, I joined a, a, a company uh, working with a company called Hub6 and they use their um, digital neighborhood watch technology to, to build smarter and safe, safer community. And so my job was to work with communities and, uh, and community activists to use that technology and build safer communities. And Babyville Village was one of them that I worked closely with, which is in this writing. Now, which brings to the, the, the question, why am I running in the nomination? And I said that there's a vacancy in, the, in this writing. But more importantly, uh, I just want to quickly share with you that uh, I've been paying a lot of attention to what's happening to our, in our province and what's happening to our country. And I've, um, you know, I, I, last night my daughter came home uh, with a box of things given by her teacher. Her international language teacher uh, will be, uh, is fired and will not be uh, continue to teach her next year. So she's extremely sad. She won't be um, having this opportunity, a wonderful opportunity to learn Chinese, her, um, you know, her mother tongue and language uh, at school. So, and she was, uh, she was highly disappointed. And this, this shows how deep these cuts were uh, to Ontario education system. And uh, 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 uh,都有非常非常深度的削减。而这些削减呢,我们都是作为家长,作为安省的省民都可以体会到,啊,昨天我的女儿呢,她的国际学,学,呃,那个,呃,国际语言的那个班级呢,她的,她的经费也遭到
，而希尔政府呢也在一、一而再、再而三的表明他的立场。啊、呃，我觉得各种各样的啊、呃、说辞啊，是对以后是对加中加关系是无益的啊、呃，所以呢，我就觉得呢，在这个有有机会的话呢，我肯定啊、呃、会需要一个更大的平台啊、呃，去为我们华人社区来发声的。这个社区呢，那为什么在这个社区选？这个社区呢，我其实在零四年的时候帮助了这个社区南部的那亚松美餐厅的作为。啊、呃，帮他竞选啊！我的那个太太呢，也是那里的全职的一个骨干，所以呢，在这个社社区呢，非常了解。以前呢，我自己也是在这个社区的呃，省安自由自由党啊、呃、那个峰会呢，也是任职的啊、呃、一段时间。那在零五年之后啊、呃，我非常有幸，七年当中呢，和我的呃之前的那个呃，我我我的 mentor 啊，那个 Jerry 呢，在他办公室里做呃。在社区安全问题，在 s h e p h e r d 啊、轻轨啊这条线的地地铁的沿线这条线的设计问题呢，和这里的居民呢有很深度的接触。呃，去年也很巧，我的呃我成立的公司和一个非非盈利的一个协会来帮助啊、呃、promote 中加的啊、呃、国际教育方面啊，大家可能知道在国际教育方面。我还是之前还做了不少工作，呃，正好也是在这个社区，所以呢，我在这个社区工作，我在这个社区有很久、很很悠久的历史，所以我的和这个社区之前的以前的市议员啊，张德森少啊，也是一个好朋友，我们经常在一起讨论怎么去啊做些什么事情，这个社区比居民需要需要一些什么啊支持，所以在这个事情我非常了解。嗯、呃，那我问题就是就是我为什么？会参加这次啊，角逐这次的提名大会。我认为呢，自己是啊，这次提名大会的最好的候选人。为什么呢？因为在在立法方面啊，在政政政策方面，我是有非常有经验的。大家知道，在过去的四年啊，一四年到一八年的时候，在啊，我当趟的选区啊，不管是啊，在呃。呃，用用私人立法做那个验房师的验房师的规管啊，包括那个电梯的法案，电梯维修一定要在多少天里面完成。这些立法呢，都是通过我自己通过一个私人立法的机会呢 ，Private Members Bill 的机会呢，去去去完成的。而且呢，呃，我们有很多的设那个文化中心啊，现在多伦多有十九个文化中心啊，因为呃，享受了特别的物业税的一个待遇，这个呢，也是当时。我把省政府的啊、呃，我们的 finance ministry 啊、呃、和那个市政府拉在一起，把这个事情在一八年大选之前完成的。所以呢，在立法方面呢，我我我知道这个程序怎么样，我可以用用到很多的工具，用到我很多知识，去继续为这个社区啊、呃，我们 d o w n i n North 这个社区来服务。啊、呃，那问题啊、呃，还有还有一些呃，一些很多的呃呃。呃呃，这里社区，这里的民众啊、呃，他们最近呢，呃，向我提出的一些建议啊，比如说这个社区的公共交通是一个很大的问题啊，公共堵塞啊，很多的 public infrastructure 需要建造，而且呢，这里很多社区他们呃，他们的社区中心是不是完善啊，有没有那么多服务设施，这些都是有关于民生的事情，需要一个强有力的代表在渥太华给他们争取利益。所以呢，就以上的这些原因呢，啊、呃，今天呢，我借助各位啊、呃、媒体的朋友啊、呃，向呃大家宣布呢，我将会决呃角逐这个区的自由党候选人的这个这个呃席位啊、呃，参加这次啊、呃、提名大会，在这个区，谢谢大家。Just before I introduce、uh, our next community leader to speak, I would also like to note that、uh, the former Canadian ambassador to China, Darla John McCallum,、uh, sends his regrets that he's unable to join us today, but he also sends his full support and endorsement for Hans' campaign.
young, passion, energetic person, I think, <coughs> with his experience of working in government for the last 10, 20 years, I think really he's the best, best candidate uh, for this wonderful writing. So that's why I'm here today supporting Hong Dong, and I wish those people out there uh, watching today's uh, news media <coughs> conference also jump onto the boat and support Hong Dong. Thank you. <coughs> We are all here to extend our support to Han Dong on his bid for the nomination for the Liberal Federal Party of uh, this riding, Dong Valley North. Uh, I have known Don, uh, Han for a number of years, and actually we work together at the Ministry of East, Ministry of uh, Training Colleges Universities. Uh, he was my colleague at the Ministry, and indeed he was my colleague at the Ontario Parliament as well. Uh, Han is uh, someone who is a very hard-working person. He has a vision, he knows politics, he knows issues. And one of the files he carried out at the Ministry when we were working together uh, was on the International Students File. And he did this very well, and as a result of his leadership, as a result of his very hard work and dedication, uh, we increased number of international students in our province of Ontario. So I'm here fully, I put my support behind uh, Han's uh, nomination and I wish him all the best and I urge everyone to come out and support Han Dong in his bid for nomination of the Federal Liberal Party from uh, this riding of uh, Dong Valley North. And I'm 100% sure that Han is going to be the best person to represent uh, this riding in Ottawa as well as he will be one of the great members of parliament while he will be serving uh, on behalf of the people of Dumbali North uh, in our House of Commons for years to come. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup and Shishia. Well, hi, and uh, I want to just uh, encourage everyone to support my good friend Hong Dunga. Uh, I was a member of the provincial legislature for 24 years in the area just east of here. It's called Scarborough Asian Court. And, uh, I always try and recruit the best people I can. I think that's the sign, the way probably a good manager is you recruit good people. And I was lucky to recruit Hong Dong. Hong worked for me for about eight years. And, and the things that he brings to, to the job, he cares about people. And he cares about solving people's problems. And in politics, that's much of what we're about, is people bring problems, and the, the trick is to find solutions, and Han could do that. I used to say, I think there's two Han Duns because he could get so much done in a day. I, I always felt he was a, there were twins there. Uh, but he, 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 he's trustworthy, he cares about people, and he cares about solutions. As I say, I got to know him very well as he worked for me for eight years as a very senior trusted advisor to me. Uh, he then, uh, I retired, and he, he he went on to Queen's Park and worked, worked at Queen's Park, became an MPP. And there too, Han finds solutions to problems. Uh, I'll just give you a couple of little examples, but many people who live in condos know the problem of elevator problems. Well, Han did more than look at the problem. He worked on solutions that, 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 that found a solution to elevators that weren't working in condos. It may not seem like a huge deal to some people in the province, but if you lived in a condo where the elevator is not working, it is huge to you. Uh, he, he, so he, he, found, he found a solution to, to, to that kind of problem. So I'm, I'm here to encourage people to support my good friend Hong Dong. He would be a terrific member of parliament for this area. He, let's say he finds solutions to problems. He worked hand in glove with me in, in solving problems just to a few meters away from here so he could find the solutions to the problems here. So support Hong Dong, everyone. Thank you very much. Um, I'm, I'm so excited to be here to see Han being nominated. Uh, I knew Han over 20 years, and uh, he was a young liberal, which means I'm an old liberal. Uh, <laughs> And uh, I've watched him grow, you know, uh, over the years, being active in the community, not just Chinese community, because he wants things to be done right. And it's out of the 
one of the character of being a politician is that you have to be true to your heart. You have to have a good heart because that's where you care. So I've seen him grown from a young man and also into politics. And of course, working with senior politicians and ministers like Reeser and, and Jerry, which I've worked for, for many, many years, uh, he's get things done. And that's one of the key characteristics of Han is that he understands the liberal values and platform. He's not just anybody who's plucked from the street that, oh, I want to run, uh, I don't want to. He be, he's been entrenched in what liberal platforms and value means. And that's very, very important for him to represent the party. Other thing is, even though it's a federal nomination, he has been in the provincial parliament as a parliamentary assistant and an MPP. He understands it's also a local issue. It's local issues that affect the constituents of the people and the residences that live here. He, he understands it and he will take care of it and he will examine it. He, as Jerry said, whatever the, the challenge is, he follows through. You can't say with a lot of people, but that's how he is. If he's committed, he'll find out what is the problem, what are the challenges, he'll be very candid with you with the situation, and if he can find a solution, he would do that. And I think with his background being from mainland Chinese, he learned his Cantonese while working with community leaders and organizations, he's articulate, he knows Shanghainese, and he's articulate, and he's very good, with the English language. So I think if you look at the dynamics and the constituents of Don Very North, he is the best candidate to run on behalf of the Federal Liberal Party, and I am 100% behind him. As our final speaker this morning, I would like to introduce uh, a, a leader in our Chinese community here in Toronto, uh, Mr. Wei. Wei Jianxiang, please. to see this campaign launch, and we cannot wait for you to be representing us in Ottawa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think we can open it now to our friends in the media to take some questions. Uh, 